Yo, what's happening? It's Benjamin D'Souza here, the warlord. And I just was on um, Concrete Roses and Sister George's panel, the breakdown of females perspe- a woman's perspective. And uh, this, the special guest was uh, Man of Tomorrow, M.O.T., shout out. And uh, towards the end of the conversation, a particular gentleman, I'm not going to say his name, he knows who he is, brought forth some some points and whatnot that I vehemently disagree with. He said that there was absolutely no way to curve the behavior of women, particularly black women, but let's just say Western women within the confines of uh, this uh, uh, legislative uh, climate, family court, all that other shit, whatever. If you know anything about war or strategy, you never let someone in your midst, in your troops, to spread fear or dissension of any kind. You let a you let a weak a weak man into your army, and he starts whispering, "Oh no, Weezer can't do nothing with that army over yonder." You see, Daze is Daze is nine feet tall and can run faster than a horse. Daze exceptional warriors. How's we's gonna beat them? You let a weak man in your ranks like that, he will spread that and it will be infectious. And before you know it, your whole entire force will have seeds of doubt, apprehension, and cowardness planted in their mind. So that's why I felt it imperative to come on and address what he said because I believe that there are measures that can be taken from a grassroots level. And it doesn't have to be legislative if you get enough men on this same accord and they're all acting in in unison. Because if you enact these keys to um, put a chick back in pocket, if she doesn't want to get back in pocket and she wants to jump to the next man, The next man's on the same shit. So she got to jump to the next man and the next man is on the same shit. So wherever she goes, she's finding the same mind. She's finding the same code. So she will by default have to curve her behavior. Legislation or not. And I get it, the gentleman is an MRA. He said this many a times. So I get it, he's gonna come within these spaces and whatnot and in a underhanded way try to spread his MRA ideology. But I totally reject that because we have agency, we do have control. We can enact change. We can. And besides, the listen, women aren't that strong. They talk all that strong independent shit. They talk all that rah-rah shit, but these motherfuckers ain't that strong. They're not. They're not. You apply the right amount of pressure at, at particular spots, and they will crumble. You don't need to get down with the MRA and try to do it from do it from the legislative level. You don't need to do all that. I mean, other other races other ethnicities within this country who are a lot smaller. He said, well, you you can't do that because black men are only 5% of the electorate. Who gives a fuck? Who get, what the, what the fuck does that mean anyway? Who cares? There are demographics of men who got their women in line and they're like half of a percent of the electorate. If that. So what the fuck do it matter? It don't matter. It don't matter. 
If you construct a code of ethics and all and all men are on a code of ethics, the women will have no choice but to but to get in pocket. No choice whatsoever. And I say that because as far as, you know, I, I feel that it's important that we bring forth some strategies and whatnot, how to curve potential behavior. And if said woman gets out of line, how to get her back into line. Because as far as SYSBM is concerned, a lot of brothers may go to other places on the globe, get their woman. But hey, if they don't want to stay there and they want to come back here because this is America, baby. The greatest country on the planet. This is where all the action is. This is where all the action is. So if they want to say, okay, now I got my woman. Let me bring her back to where the action is. You know, in order to prevent her from, uh, how you say, learning the local ways, the local customs, and eventually blowing up your spot, or if she does try to go left, how to get her back right, we got strategies in place that can be implemented to do such a thing. But just to sit up here and say that we're just powerless, you know, the big bad matriarchy is... is it's, it's just too much. We're, we're just overwhelmed. And then they're reinforced with uh, poli- public policies. Oh, my God. There's nothing we can do about it. Listen, bro. If, if you're that scared, if you're that weak, if you're that inept, if you lack that much agency, then take yourself out the pasture, bro. Go find a nice, quiet spot and just go lay down. have a nap you know I don't want to make this an age thing because I I really before I hopped on and and started making this vid I really wanted to get on here and just start roasting but no no yeah man don't allow doubters and naysayers and cowards and you're missed. That's all I got. Get up on that.